Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In today's video, we will talk about how to add rational algebra expressions with the similar denominators. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So guys, before we start, so what we have here are rational algebra expressions that we need to add. And when we say the similar denominators, meaning the denominators are different. From our previous videos, we talked about how to add RAE with similar denominators. This time, it's quite different and it's quite difficult. Let's start with item number one. For number one, we have 3 over x squared plus 2 over x. So as you can see, the first denominator is x squared. The second is x. So what we need to do is to find first the least common denominator. So we need to know the LCD before we add the whole expression. Since this one is x squared and this is x, so I think we will not in if they are the same variable and a monomial, yung magiging LCD natin is the variable with the highest exponent. So, wala nang tayo masyadong paligoy-ligoy pa. Automatically, the LCD is x squared. So, what we're going to do is to put here the x squared as our denominator. And then, always remember that the process is divide and multiply. First, we will divide this using the first denominator. x squared divided by x squared. It goes like this. So as you can see, the numerator and denominator are the same, meaning that is equal to 1. So again, x squared divided by x squared that is equal to 1 and then times the numerator. So again, x squared divided by x squared is 1 times 3, that would be 3. Then plus, and here, the second fraction natin, we have x squared divided by x, it goes like this, x squared divided by x, that would be x only. And then multiply it by 2 again, the correct answer is 2x. So as you can see guys, what we have now is the numerator, 3 plus 2x over x squared. After this, ang kailangan yung gawin is check if we can combine the numerator. We have 3 plus 2x, and as you can see, they are in like terms. So, hindi natin sila pwedeng combine. So, the question here, meron ba tayong pwedeng simplify? Wala na. And, is this a final answer? Maybe. Pwede na rin. We can declare this one as our final answer, pero we can still arrange this one like this. Instead of 3 plus 2x, pwede natin siyang gawing 2x plus 3 over x squared. Parang variable natin is in the first term. As simple as that. Now, let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, what we have here is 1 over x plus 2 plus 2 over x minus 1 same process, we need to know the LCD. So what is the LCD between the two denominators? Ito yung ruling natin para hindi tayo mahirapan. As you can see, the denominators are both binomial. And magkaiba sila. So ang gagawin lang dito, express nyo sila as factors. So what do I mean by that? We can use x plus 2 times x minus 1 as our LCD. Okay? Nakuha. And then, put it here. x plus 2 times x minus 1. So again, the process is divide, multiply. Let's go. This LCD divided by x plus 2, makakansel lang yan, it will become 1 times x minus 1. Sir, how come na ito na lang yung magisagot natin? Ito sa mangyayari dyan. When we divide this, it will become x plus 2 times x minus 1 divided by x plus 2 
Ma-cancel out ito, ma-cancel out ito, ang mga natira sa atin ay x minus 1. Times 1, that would be 1 times x minus 1. Next, plus, ito naman. So, ang gandong tendency nito, para nakakancel out lang siya. So, x plus 2 times x minus 1 divided by x minus 1, nakakancel to. Nakakancel to, ang matitira sa atin ay itong 2 times x plus 2. Okay? Now, what's next? We can still simplify this. Ito, 1 naman to, so we will copy x minus 1 kasi nothing will happen when you multiply a number by 1. And this one, distributive property, 2 times x, that would be plus 2x. 2 times 2, that would be plus 4 over x plus 2 times x minus 1. We will combine like terms. Ito, pwede itong dalawang to, magiging 3x, negative 1 plus 4, that would be plus 3 over x plus 2 times x minus 1. Ngayon, meron ba tayong pwede magawa dito for us to simplify this? Actually, wala na tayong pwede ma-cancel out, pero we can still factor out itong ating... 3x plus 3 para mas maging okay yung tsura niya. Since common yung 3, we're natin gawing 3 times x plus 1 over x plus 2 x minus 1. Baka makonfuse kayo na isipin nyo, pwede nang simplify itong dalawang to, pero hindi. They have different signs. So now, we can declare that these two different forms are the possible answers for item number two. Now let's move on with item number three. Okay, for number three, same process guys. As you can see, two binomials that are different. So ang magiging LCD natin dito. The LCD is x plus three times x minus two. Same process, x plus 3 times x minus 2, makakancel lang to. This one, divide this one, then multiply by 2x, we have 2x times, tanda na, ito dinivide natin itong dalawang to sa x plus 3, makakancel itong dalawang to, matitira ay x minus 2. Now, para naman dito, we have plus, divide this using this one, makancel itong dalawang to, ang matitira ay itong dalawang to. x plus 3 times 3x plus 4. Now for this, distributive property magiging 2x squared. Ito naman minus 4x and for this guys let me use a sheet of paper para sagot na lang ilalagay natin dito we will use distribute um, foil method x plus 3 times 3x plus 4 x times 3x that would be 3x squared x times 4 that would be plus 4x. Ito naman, 3 times 3x, that would be plus 9x. Then, 3 times 4, plus 12. Simplify, 3x squared, plus, this is 13x, plus 12. Ito na yung nilalagay natin dito. So, that would be plus, 3x squared, plus 13x, plus 12. Para hindi masyado mahaba yung ating solution. Over your denominator, x plus 3 times x minus 2. Ngayon, we will combine like terms. We have now 2x squared and 3x squared. That would be 5x squared. Then, this one negative 4x plus 13x. That would be plus 9x. So, plus 12 tayo rito over 
x plus 3 times x minus 2. Meron ba tayong pwedeng factor? Wala na. So we can declare that the correct answer for item number 3 is simply 5x squared plus 9x plus 12 over x plus 3 times x minus 2. Now what about this one? Is this complicated? Somehow. Kasi it will require you to factor out this. As you can see guys, kailangan yung master din yung factoring. This one can be factored out using difference of two squares. Sir, paano po yun? So, let me get some paper here para malaman nyo kung paano siya gawin. Okay, as for the paper, so what we need to do here is to get the factors of this one. Yung ating x squared minus 9 can be factored out using difference of two squares. So, ito yung magiging x minus 3 then x plus 3. Kinuha ko lang square root to, which is x, square root to, which is 3, and then minus plus or plus minus. So what about this one? Yung atin namang x squared minus x minus 6, pwede siya maging factored as x minus 3 times x minus 2. Ngayon, pakita ko sa inyo dito sa baba. Gagawin natin dito, we will copy this one for over x minus 3, then x plus 3, plus 2, and then ito naman, x minus 3 times x minus 2. So, anong gagawin natin discount dito, guys? Ngayon, kapag napansin nyo na puro sila binomial, tapos may parehas, Ito, saka ito, we will count that one as a single. Okay po. So, lagyan natin dito yung LCD natin sa pinakailalim. Punta natin yung mga may parehas. Ito, saka ito, hindi ba siya ilalagay as factors ng dalawa. Gawin lang siya as 1 bilang x minus 3. Next, yung walang kaparehas, itong dalawang to. Copy nyo, x plus 3, then x minus 2. Ngayon, let's divide. Again, divide, multiply. These three factors divided by these two factors, ang matitira na lang ito. So we have 4 times x minus 2. Okay, tayo doon? Kasi mga cancel out itong dalawang to. That's why we have 4 times x minus 2. Plus, to naman, this one to this one, mga cancel itong dalawang to, kasi para sila, so we have 2 times x plus 3. Okay? Now we will simplify using the CBT property. This is 4x minus 8. Am I correct? Yes. Dito naman ay plus 2x plus 6. Gumamit on the CBT property. Over. Copy this 3. X plus 3 ng lalagay ko dito. Then X minus 3. Then X minus 2. Simplify your numerator. So let me adjust the paper. 4X plus 2X, that would be 6X. This, we have negative 2. Okay. And then over x plus 3, x minus 3, x minus 2. Ngayon, pwede pa natin simplify. Yes, pwede naman natin i-factor out to kung kaya. Pwede siya maging 2 times 3x minus 1. Kung pansin nyo, natin cancel out over x plus 3, then x minus 3 times x minus 2. And these are the possible values of x. That's it, guys. So I hope, guys, you learned something from this video on how to add rational algebra expressions with the similar de denominators. Guys, so if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming salamat and bye-bye!